Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Hey, I wanted to walk everybody through a program that I use called Tag Scanner. Uh, Tag Scanner is a utility that helps to mass rename um, MP3s, modify properties of MP3, so on and so forth. Uh, what you want to do, of course, launch Google. Go ahead, type Tag Scanner in and hit Enter. Uh, you'll see it says the Ultimate Tag Scanner. Click on that, and then you can just go to Download. Just download what's right for you, which will probably be this Tag Scanner setup. Just download and install that. Once you actually have the application installed, I'll show you what it looks like here. Okay, Tag Scanner is a little utility um, that basically you can load up your MP3s, and what I've primarily used it for is for mass renaming my MP3s. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to where it says Path, and I'm going to go to the directory that I want to look at. Um, I've done most of my music for so for right now we're just going to go ahead and grab one that I've recently added. Um, which is pink. You'll notice looking at this that every song has got the track number appended as well as the track name appended. It's got the artist, the title, so on and so forth. Um, right now we're on the tab Music Renamer, which is what we're going to actually use. So you'll notice right now the Music Renamer is set to Artist and Title. Here's all the different placeholders that you can actually use. So if you prefer to have the album name or the year name or really whatever you want in the title, it's going to give you a demo or an e example of what it's going to look like after you make the change. So it's going to say this one will be called pink hyphen so what dot mp3. <clears throat> Just to give you an idea. So what you can do is you can go down here and hit preview. And what it's going to do, it's going to show you based upon my criteria what it's going to look like after the fact. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go, we're going to highlight all of the songs. We're going to hit preview. Preview is going to show us that every song will now be renamed with pink, hyphen, and the name of the song, which is exactly what we want. At this point, we're going to go ahead and hit rename. You're going to notice you'll receive confirmation. Everything's going to say OK. So we're going to go back to the music renamer. Now we're going to notice that everything has been modified. Now another, um, another property of this application is if you go into the tag editor, if you click on a song, this allows you to easily change some of the information on a given song. Um, right now I've got everything selected, so let me go ahead and deselect everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one song. You'll notice the title, the track, number, artist. Um, you can put clip part in here if you want to embed a picture if you want. Um, it basically allows you to modify this. A lot of Windows, a lot of Windows tools will allow you to do this, but it's kind of nice because it's all built into one. I've not really played around with too many of the other items. There's a tag processor and a list maker. It's a very small application. For renaming it is absolutely perfect. For modifying some of the properties, it's actually perfect. Um, <clears throat> one thing I've noticed when I import a lot of MP3s is sometimes the album won't be on there. So what you actually can do is you can highlight them all, and you can go in and, and add the album information. So let's say we went ahead and we changed this to Funhouse 1. If we click save, what that's going to do, it's going to update every single one of these songs with the new album name. So instead of having to individually go in and add the album and the artist from all these songs, I can actually just do it once and it will take care of all the rest of it for me. Neat little program. I really like the renaming function. Um, check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions as usual, let me know. Thanks, everybody.